Coach, how was your off season? <laughs> yeah, I haven't talked to you that this I year. Yeah. It just Do seems anything like there fun? Is, there isn't an off season anymore. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, I was good. Yeah. It was good. You should call some games. Do anything I, fun. I worked the uh, the Gold Cup, so okay. I was all over the country. Okay. Nashville, New York, um, Philadelphia, Cleveland, Miami, Dallas, Phoenix, Santa Clara. Was there a player or a team that uh, I was really impressed you? I was, I, was, I was doing the U.S. games. The U.S. games, okay. I see, so. Yeah, and I, I did Mexico, game, Mexico games and the U.S. games. Okay, okay. Yeah. And Costa Rica. Got it, got it. Any players on the U.S. team that are impressing you right now? I know, I know the Gold Cup was a lot of the guys who aren't playing in Europe this year. Yeah, I thought Ariola. Uh, you know, who played on the right side of midfield was was exceptional. I thought uh, Jordan Morris uh, played really well in the tournament. Yeah. You know, he's a natural goal scorer. Yeah. He's a beautiful player. Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, your first look at playing a team with a different jersey, guys you don't know. Um, what did you see today from your team? Yeah, I thought uh, there were moments uh, that were very good. Uh, I did. were able to connect and keep possession and look and get it behind. It's always nice when you score five goals, excuse me, four goals. We should have had five or six. Right. But uh, the reality is that we have to learn to play faster. Uh, a opponent like this gives us an opportunity to sort of test off the cobwebs and, and see what we need going into the uh, Indiana match. So we know that that's going to be a team that's going to press us, it's going to play a lot faster. And so between now and, you know, a week from Friday, we've got to, we've got to learn to play a little bit faster, a lot faster. We have to make sure that you know, we have a great understanding between our midfield line and our front line. I thought our midfielders, and they did a very good job of closing down our midfield. I thought our midfield did not do a very good job initially of finding the gaps that allowed us to keep possession and then play to our front runners. Kind of within the run of play. Um, that said, Enriquez was really sharp. It seemed like early, involved in both of those real early goals. Yeah, Christian um, is, is, is a class player. You know, he's, he is literally a, a, a national, youth national team player. And he continued to show that quality. He showed that when he he, uh, he trained with uh, Kansas City this. So neat when this happened. All right, there we go. Um, did you get the last piece? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I, I waited till I stopped. Um, Kaba came in the game early. You know looking like he's putting pressure on teams, finishing um, pretty much what you want from a striker who comes in, uh, not as a starter, but who can come on the field and kind of provide some offense that yeah. way. Kava Alkewala okay, has really improved in the off season. He's, he has a softer touch now. He holds the ball better than he has in a long time. Uh, he's now using his athleticism to get him behind. I mean, it's very difficult to say with Kava uh, when he's 1v1 with somebody. So, you know, the combination of him and, and Sean Good Sean has great pace. Uh, scored three goals last game. Uh, scored a goal today. Kaba got two today. So our front runners are, are getting goals, which is really, really important. But yeah, Kaba is, I, I think, improved one of the most uh, of the entire team. Every time I see Sean, he just scores on every opportunity it seems like he gets. Yeah, and the thing is, is that he would tell you that he's not really in rhythm yet. He's not playing at 100%. So you're going to see, you know, as the season progresses, this guy's only going to get better. Um, what are your expectations moving forward for the road trip coming up? I know you're playing some tough teams, and um, obviously you guys played here, I, presumably to play on a wider field, get a little bit of a different look. Um, kind of an interesting place up here. Maybe before we talk about the road trip, just why, why come up here? Why play at this location? Uh, what does this look like for you guys? Yeah, uh, Spanos is, is narrow, right. uh, and so we're, we know we're going to play on very wide fields, very long fields. And so the only way that we're going to get that is, that, is, is to come up here. Um, you know, the uh, Paso Robles, Robles uh, Horse Park has, has been really gracious. Uh, the school district up here has been incredibly supportive. Um, you know, they cut the grass down to exactly what it's going to be when we go to Notre Dame. Uh, and so in order to give our guys the confidence that we know how to deal with the spacing of a, of a field that's 115 to 120 yards long by 75 to 80 yards wide, right. This allows for that. We were also hoping that, that, that the weather would be a lot hotter, hotter. And this is one of the cruelest weeks yeah. of, uh, of, of this time of year ever. Yeah. You know, so because we wanted to simulate what we believe is going to be the climactic conditions back there. But yeah. in any case, we got, we got used to the size of the field. For sure. Um, what do you guys still need to get better at going into the uh, road trip coming up? And what do you expect from your team um, 
between now and the time you guys kick off yeah, at Spanos? We, we have to play faster. We really do. Um, we have all the talent in the world in the midfield to play balls into the midfield, even when they're under pressure, and to get out of that pressure. Uh, we just have to be a little bit more consistent with it. And our midfield needs to be, be demanding of the ball a bit more. And so literally playing through the midfield and connecting with the front runners and playing faster from one side of the field to the other are the two things, that, three things that we need to really work on. Health situation, I don't see George Grody out here. Um, yeah, George broke his leg in the, in the spring. Um, so he is out, literally out for the year, uh, which is unfortunate because uh, prior to him breaking his leg, he was really on fire, uh, doing really well uh, in training and in spring games. But, you know, we have some, some very good players that, that have uh, come in this year, and, and we have a lot of depth and a lot of different positions. You know, so as much as we're going to miss George, I think we have people that can get the job done. It's your third year here. Um, maybe some, I don't want to say like different expectations, but, you know, you have, you've had a chance to recruit a couple classes now and um, kind of get some of your guys in. Are you feeling a little bit higher in terms of expectations for this year? Yeah, I think I, think, uh, I feel very good about our, our, our chance to be significantly better than last year. Um, you know, we have so much more depth. We have the ability to score from so many different positions. Um, you know, I, my expectations are, are to make the NCAA playoffs and then hopefully catch fire and, and, and do well from there. But I think we have a team good enough to do, to do just that. Thanks, Steve.